Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a common gram-negative bacterium responsible for disease in plants and animals. In fact, according to this source, it is responsible for 10 to 20% of all infections in hospitals, including serious infections such as pneumonia or meningitis. And like a lot of bacteria, Pseudomonas aeruginosa partakes in quorum sensing. But what is quorum sensing? Quorum sensing is a communication process between bacteria that allows for coordinated group behavior. The communication consists of bacteria releasing chemical signals called autoinducers that are meant to be received by other bacteria through cellular reception. Up close, it looks like this. Once the signal is received, the bacteria begins to express genes and form new proteins. These specific autoinducers and receptors are highly specialized to a task that can conduct a group effort by the bacteria. In order for a bacteria to be effective in their response in humans, they must carry out these coordinated responses. And Pseudomonas aeruginosa's response is the coordinated production of biofilms, a web of extracellular polymeric secretions. To disrupt the coordinated response, there are chemicals mimicking autoinducers called inhibitors, structurally preventing autoinducers from binding to receptors. This inhibition ends up disrupting the communication process, limiting or entirely preventing both the signal transduction and gene expression. To combat Pseudomonas aeruginosa, research by O'Loughlin and her constituents synthetically created over 30 inhibitors. The team of researchers focused on three, CTL, MCTL, and MPTL. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is dependent upon a signal transduction cascade in which two autoinducer receptor chains are linked together. One step leads to the next, ultimately progressing toward biofilm formation. However, if an inhibitor blocks any part in the cascade, the process does not continue. Four years prior to O'Loughlin, Bonnie Bassler and her team initially thought a CL inhibitor was most successful at preventing the transduction cascade in Pseudomonas aeruginosa cells. This was wrong. Yet, this was not a failure for Bassler and her team. The result was unexpected and negative, but still extremely relevant to their research on inhibition. In fact, this negative result led them to synthetically create 30 inhibitors four years later based on the structure of CL. Eventually, it was determined MBTL is the most successful at stopping the signal transduction pathway. This completely mimics the discussion on failure during lecture, suggesting that the scientific advancement in quorum sensing would not have ensued without this initial failure. This experiment does not go without having broader, real-world implications. The formation of biofilms, while causing many infections, is also one of the greatest causes for medical implant failure. Examples of these devices are stents and catheters, and the research suggested that one of the goals is to be able to produce these devices in the future with MBTL-like molecules because we now know that MBTL inhibits form sensing, which induces biofilm production. Therefore, the researchers have the goal of sharing this knowledge with outside scientists and engineers in hopes that it can have positive, lasting consequences.